Hi guys, this is Gavin and this is Josh and we're from MA and today we're here to give you a brief update of Singapore's property market. The last major launch of 2022 ended on a high note with EC Tenet selling 447 out of a total of 618 units, a total of 72.3%. So shout out to our colleague Guo Wei for securing a unit there. <laughs> The strong take-up rate was achieved despite the launch being held in December when most people are travelling overseas. Okay, and for resale buyers out there, this might be some good news for you in 2023 as prices may moderate for the resale flat buyers, right? This might be due to the wait-up period that was imposed during the September 2022 cooling measures. With some exceptions, such as disposing of private properties must now be like waiting 15 months before eligible to buy a resale flat which is quite a painful thing actually. But luckily it's not permanent, right? For BTO flats, it is a long-standing rule, however, that you need to wait at least 30 months before selling your private property, then you can apply. With the new wait-off period in place, alongside the other cooling measures such as the higher MSR and TDSR, and more BTO supplies upcoming in 2023, resale flats may lose some momentum. At present, however, there's no way to know exactly how many people is impacted by this wait-off period, so it's still hard to estimate its precise significance. So like for example, the continued ramped up supply of BTO, right? About another 23,000 flats are expected to come out in 2023 and to meet surging demand especially. At present, we are expecting around 2,900 to around 3,900 new flats in towns including Kalang, Queenstown, Wampo and Tengah. So while these won't immediately soak up the resale demand, it's at least a promise that flat shortage won't last like forever for them. Okay, for one thing to take note for HDB upgraders, right, is that you might be priced out of new launches in the future. And the reason for this is, I mean, one of them is, of course, the September cooling measures and the higher loan interest rates in the future. However, there is very little chance that actually new launch prices would reduce the significant prices, how, given the cost of the land development and of course the cost that the developers are facing today, such as higher land betterment charges, ABSD increase 40%, and all these factors which drive up the cost and development margins become very narrow to allow for even more discounts. Okay, another reason is prices charged by contractors also rose significantly during mm. COVID, right? We can see that COVID has already stabilised uh, and the prices has not really went back to normal. Rather, the market has already adapted to the higher price point, further eating into developers' margins. Yeah, another thing you take note of, right, is that actually more ultra-rich foreign uh, clients or buyers are actually been coming to Singapore. And to be fair, this actually could be seen as a positive, but it depends on like, which side you're on the fence you're sitting on. But in short, the increase in number of family officers and the stability of Singapore property market are some of the reasons why the ultra-rich have been flocking here. And one thing that we are certain of is that 2023 is set to be a good year for landlords. With momentum carrying on from the previous year, the main reason is COVID-19 trailing off and the return of foreign workers at all levels. Also, right, for the first time in many years, landlords are seeing stronger demand from local tenants. Right? This is related to the surge in housing transaction volumes, more people are looking for temporary accommodations while their new home is being built as well. Right? Landlords will likely see fewer vacancies in 2023 and tenants may have little choice but to accept the higher rental fees in the long run to come as well. Right? As Singapore housing market continues to put out new highs, we are advising our clients to be more prudent and focus on their personal needs and what they look for in a home. So more of like for finding their own home rather than investment in that sense. Yes. Yeah? All in all, 2023 does look to be a challenging one for new homeowners as we await the fluctuation in prices, be it for resale HDB or private condos, due to the various factors. Right, however, with the right agent, I'm sure that you guys and us will be able to find the right solution for your home needs. Right, that's it for the month of January and we'll catch you guys on the next one. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you love to see more of this content. Yeah, bye!